Good morning, good morning. What an unusual start to the Safari Live broadcast. We are coming to you from a hot air balloon, no less, suspended above the Masai Mara here in Kenya. It's a wonderful morning, and uh, my name is James Henry, and I'm going to be talking to you from this balloon probably only for the next five minutes or so. Hashtag Safari Live, ask your questions, send your comments. It's wonderful to have you with us here, floating over the world's most romantic wilderness area. Taylor is out on drive, as many of you would have seen in the pre-show. I'm not sure who else is driving today, but they will take you through the thrills of Juma very shortly after we have experienced this floating sensation above the Masai Mara. Senzo is on camera in the balloon. I am suspended in migration control some 1,000 feet above the valley floor that you're looking at now. And it is on these short grass plains, of course, that the great wildebeest migration is about to descend. Uh, there are many of them down to the south, a herd of about 100 or 200,000 or so, and shortly they will be up here in the northern sections of the Mara Triangle. It's a wonderful, wonderful day here in Kenya, about whoo, probably about 16 and 61 or so, 16 degrees Celsius, 61 degrees Fahrenheit. It was a bit chillier earlier on, but the sun is now up behind those clouds. We had a lot of rain last night, and it's, well, just a very special morning and a very special thing to be bringing you this kind of view of the Masai Mara. You can see all the balloons up there, and we're flying with a group called Governor's Balloon Safaris, who have very kindly put up with our necessities and our needs, and they're helping us to bring you these iconic pictures of this spectacular landscape. There's a buffalo bull. He's wandering off to the right-hand side, thinks he's going to hide behind that very small bush. I don't think he's going to be very successful, though. Now, the buffalo here are, well, they're very large in comparison with the ones at Juma. Not mass-wise, I don't think, but certainly their horns tend to be a lot wider. Massive, massive expanse of land that we're uh, sort of uh, exploring here. And you can see the knoll there, just to the right-hand side of that escarpment. That's pretty much where I'm sitting now. Well, we're hoping, of course, for some kind of animal activity. And before we have to leave you, the balloon will land probably in the next five minutes or so. It looks like a dopey. Coming up, no, is it a topi? I don't know. Let's just keep enjoying this scene for the next little while. There you can see the sun touching the far horizon, and there, a very large herd of zebra, and of course, some topi. My favorite antelope for this area. I'm not entirely sure why, I think it's probably just their colors. They are, of course, also very fast. There's something appealing about something that's very fast. Um, Sharon, you want to know how high I am right now, and do I know? I know that I'm about a thousand feet above the valley floor. I'm not sure how high Senzo is. This balloon goes up to about a thousand feet, and I think they're probably about, ooh, I'd say about a quarter of that now, probably about 250 feet above the ground or so. So not very high. And you can see, just as everywhere else in Africa, the zebra are feeding around the termite mounds because that is where the grass is most nutritious. Now, you will see them running off from time to time, especially when they have to blow the burners. It does make the animals a little bit nervous, but because it's so fleeting, it doesn't worry me too much. So, the, you know, the balloon flies over the top of them and then they just carry on with their lives as they would normally. You can see the sky starting to turn blue. It was very grey this morning, very dim and dull, and now it's turning a lovely shade of blue. You can see very flat, not the undulating topography of the Sabi sand in Juma, which you're shortly to be driving over with Taylor and whoever else is out today. I'm not sure if it's Tristan or Ali. Yeah, and John, you say the animal tracks through the grass here are like the Mara's nervous system. They do look like the Mara's nervous system, don't they? And I suppose in some respects they must be thought of as such. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. And there you can see the sun's rays just streaming through the clouds there. There's a vehicle track, and you'll notice 
I think the big difference between doing this in a balloon and the drone shots that we've had of Juma, for example, is the difference in the vegetation. You can see why this grassland supports such a vast number of animals. If you fly above Juma, even in summertime in the, in the drones when it's green, you will always see gaps between the grass. The clumps of grass do not come anything like or knit anything like as closely together as the clumps of grass do here. That's of course because the soil here is much less ancient. Now that sounds a bit ridiculous, but there's been so much more recent, uh, relatively recent volcanic activity in this area, covering the area in ash. And of course that makes the soil that much more fertile. And that's why it is so much thicker and why the soil is so much more fertile. Whereas at Juma, of course, that low felt region as is so ancient, those soils are so ancient, so much of the nutrients that it once held has been leached out by, well, countless millennia of rain. And that's why there is a difference, of course, in the amount of grass that there is. All right, everybody, we're going to say goodbye to you from the Mara. I'm not sure when we will see you again from here. It will be relatively soon. Remember, of course, the Earth Live broadcast coming to you from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the morning. I think that's right. Yes, 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the morning. That's East African time, and that will be on, well, Monday morning, this side here. Okay, we're going to hand you over to Ali in the Sabi Sands. I hope you have a wonderful safari there in the beautiful Lofelt winter, and we'll see you next time.